Greetings, Kropcha here and this is Raid Shadow Legends free to play account but this time this is not my account yeah so as you probably see on the top left side we got different name so I haven't changed my name of my account this is JS account and luckily uh, we also have JS on, on the channel please say hello <laughs> yeah hello everyone okay nice nice, to, uh, nice uh, for you to have me yeah, thank you very much. So thank you for accepting the invite. Okay, and uh, what we'll be talking today about? Because yeah, we had a few more uh, discussions in the past uh, because uh, we started uh, together the uh, Hades Challenge uh, for 2024. And yeah, the yeah. competition was uh, pretty fine, uh, I would say. Yeah, and you finish on the first place. I was trying to catch you, but I couldn't <laughs> <You're> reach <laughs> the level of your points. Yeah, so yeah maybe maybe if uh, if uh, Karim Panda was not here, I would have taken it a bit more slowly. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, we we pushed each other pretty uh, pretty far, you know. A lot of points you guys generated. Uh, yeah, and to we'll try to reveal some of secrets uh, of those points. <laughs> <laughs> I think, and uh, yeah, to, that will be faction wars. Uh, faction wars, yeah. So why, why faction wars? Uh, because uh, I think we saw a lot of questions, not only on my channel, uh, but also on the Hell Hades comments, right? Uh, yes, yes. So uh, um, as you guys might might know, I did a video with. Um, Karen Panda and uh, El Hades on this challenge and a lot of questions were uh, faction wars related and um, I think like uh, the, the like on the challenge the point correlation with the faction wars progression was um, quite uh, like very related you know so the people that progress the further in faction war were, were, were the people that did the most points yeah, that's more or less true. Uh, I also had a lot of points. So maybe let's check how many points uh, they are, uh, already have. So let's quickly check the login day. We got day 103, so 100 yeah. days in the game. So not not, not much, so over three months. Uh, okay, so let's check faction wars. What, what do we have here? Okay, crazy number, uh, 730. On yeah, my and account, I just been... <laughs> yeah, on my account I got uh, like uh, 130 less. What, what, what's going on here? <laughs> what, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so I've been progressing since we we uh, the challenge uh, ended. So I started uh, investing in my legendaries champion. So mm -hmm. that helped me progress in a few different faction. Um, but uh, yes, like since the first month uh, of the challenge, I didn't focus as much in faction wars. I was more focused on getting my my five uh, main character to uh, to you know have a full team. And after after that, I just focused on mainly faction wars because I wanted to gear those champions. And I realized that uh, you know perception gear is. Uh, is is very important for progression mm -hmm. so uh knowing knowing that i focused hard uh, on faction wars so i kept all all the, like uh, ev um, for every faction i kept at least five champions so i can build a full team and every time i had like a, an upgrade uh for that team i used the uh, the extra the the sixth the extra like the champion as food mm -hmm. and replace the um, the other champion by by uh, the upgrade and uh, so yeah it's very important to keep at least five champion on each faction and mm -hmm. one of them being a rare because you know the um, the mission that's required to uh, do faction wars with a rare champion so it's very important to keep at least one rare on each faction yeah that's correct sometimes yeah. uh, you don't have even at the beginning it, it is uh, tricky right uh, yes uh, to, to and like at the beginning those yeah. 
th those mission you, you you want to complete it because like uh, one refill is huge because I remember the first month every day I used up all my gems and all my energy pretty quickly yeah so yeah but but this is not the only quest that we are getting uh let's see what we have today yeah i i completed it but uh, yeah, yeah. like you, but you so, used yeah yeah tw uh, 12 uh, keys so what else do we have um, faction stage with at least one rare so we we had that yeah. today i think there's another to uh um, defeat the boss right and yeah was... defeat the boss this one is the hardest one to complete yeah. like I, I got lucky and every time i had this uh, mission i was i had the high elves or mm -hmm. or an, another one i i had like a six star champion on early on so i i got to complete every day but um early on like in the first few weeks this this is the hardest mission to complete yeah and there is another, uh, as I remember, a complete uh, stage three times without losing any champions. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. This one you can do with just having one champion and completed yeah. the stage. Yes. So it's not too complicated. Some kind of trick, right? So we, you don't have to have uh, five champs and uh, yeah. ensure that they, they survive, but one is enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you can just go on lower stages and use three keys with one champion, and it's just uh, yeah. Uh, but you, you you always like before doing your your faction wars fights, always check the missions because sometimes like on my main account, sometimes I'm just uh, going like in auto mode and I don't check the the mission, and after using all the keys, I realize oh I didn't do a fight with the rare so. <laughs> I cannot complete the full mission for the day. So. Yeah, it could be painful. You put yes. it back, right? So this each refill is so important. This is like you uh, giving up on uh, forty gems. Yeah, forty gems. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Because we mostly use the gem for refills. Yeah, mostly, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, what you use the gem for? Oh, at the beginning uh, for masteries, then opening uh, the garden oh, yes. ring. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Oh, you opened their garden ring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, at uh, week uh, two, after oh, two, two or three, uh, after you know uh, buying masteries for two champs, so it was Deacon and Atel. So I opened yeah. uh, all, all the slots here. Oh yeah! Oh, interesting. Yeah. I mean, uh, in in three months, the investment was was um, was it good? So at the beginning, uh, um, your energy capacity is uh, below one hundred thirty. It will be like you know uh, when you level up your uh, account. Oh, ah, okay. The yeah, energy yeah. cap is a little bit lower, right? Like uh, one hundred. Yeah. So spending forty gems for one hundred energy. Yeah, maybe. It's not efficient. Not efficient, but later, that's fine for 130. So we got uh, like 30% more, more or less. Yeah, <laughs> when you pass the level 50 or 60, I think. Yeah, yeah. So then you can start uh, considering spending gems. Uh, that, that's, that was my approach, yeah, but it looks okay. like a uh, different approach is also working. Okay. Yeah, uh, well, I, I did do the, the, the two gems with the 800 gems, the mastery. Mm -hmm. Like that's the the typical approach, but uh, the rest I was using in refills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so let's back to faction wars. So that's our main topic. Uh, trying to help uh, free to play players to do some progress here. Uh, yeah. So what should we start with? Uh, uh, maybe go... start by going on the great all. Which Wait, I think you mentioned on a video yeah. this week or last week in the area boni bonuses, um, the oh. faction wars bonus. Oh, this looks so nice. <laughs> These are quite uh, quite <laughs> helpful. So, <laughs> so for um, for my approach on this challenge, you know, um, I knew from the start like. Uh, um, Hydra would be very important. So I started focusing focusing uh, Hydra area bonuses right off the start. Okay. So I, I spend 
like 80 percent 90 percent of my uh my middles there but um after the challenge was was done and but like i drew about a uh, i drew area it's 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 is enough for me for now mm -hmm. um i i went and uh, invested in the faction wars to get lydia faster mm -hmm. Because um, these are are very cheap, you know. It's a third third of, uh, of the price. Yeah. Like since it's great one, it's very very cheap. Right. So, um, mm -hmm. like the 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 level nine, I, I it took me I think three or four days to do. Spending oh. uh, ten gems in uh, live arena mm -hmm. uh, every day. But you need so to reach it's, uh, gold life arena, right? Yes, uh, gold, yes, exactly, which is exactly. Not so easy. So Jai, I'm trying for, for like four days and slowly progressing. <laughs> Cannot reach yeah. there yet. But in silver, in silver, there's a there's the thing when you lose three fights in a row, you get a free fight with the bot. Oh. So that mm -hmm. that keeps you um, like keep you uh, progress because when you lose three fight you lose six points mm -hmm. and then the the fourth five you you win back the five points so if you just try and um, like if you go in my um uh live arena uh, stats you will see i don't have a, a very big win rate you know it's just um the amount of fight is very important more than the win rate i think i i'm, I'm at like 50 percent if you go in leaderboard, leaderboards, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. you can see like I did a thousand seventy-five fights wow, since the start, mm -hmm. but I only have fifty percent win rate. Mm -hmm. So w if you keep the fifty percent win rate, you you eventually will hit gold. That's for sure. Okay, so now I see where the difference between uh, between the points that you get and uh, my points so i was not uh, investing a lot of uh, here in life arena so that's for sure so yeah. this number is crazy one th over 1000 yeah. fights that's a, that's a lot of crests generally, that you can invest it's yeah because i i invested in hydra and hydra is great tree and it it costs a lot of crests yeah. to progress um so i had to farm it like very like religiously every day Mm -hmm. and, so, uh, what team are you using, uh, or what team uh, have you been using uh, to reach uh, Life Arena Gold? Um, so early on, you know, uh, I was known in the challenge mm -hmm. uh, in the first one to have a fast Farrakh in the fat, oh, because okay. I didn't, I didn't had any speed lead, any speed boost, and. Um, um, and I, I didn't have no attack up. So right now is is uh, only two forty six. But yeah. early on on the challenge, very very uh, like in the first month, my Farrakh in the fat was I think two eighty speed. Like very early on, and I was getting comments on the Discord uh, uh, chat about mm -hmm. like what what's what's behind having this guy so fast. Like why you why is he fast and. Um, so in live arena, people were not banning Farrak in the fat. He was never banned. And okay. him being my fastest champion, I was just doing ally attack with uh, all my um, other champion in the uh, in the, the in the fight I was bringing in live arena at the mastery with the A1 decreasing cooldown uh, uh, turn meter. So I was essentially using Farrakh in the fat as a turn meter control on their speed champion because mm -hmm. I, I was winning most of the speed lead fight because I, he was very fast for my account level. Yeah. And nobody was was uh, like the only person that banned Farrakh in the fat was when I, I, I got Panda in live arena <laughs> and he, he knew he knew my strategy because okay. we were talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the only guy in a uh, probably 200 fight <laughs> that banned Farrakh in the fat. Nice, nice. So that was my early strategy in live arena. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, that's before getting Aikatoon. I had no speed lead and whatsoever. Before Aikatoon, so in the first month yeah. of the game. Yeah, in the first month. Okay. Like I, 
um, and I wanted to to focus on live arena every day because it's just free stats, free resources. So, so um, what you are saying, just to progress in faction wars, you should fo uh, pro uh, focus on the live arena. That that's yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, going back to faction wars, like mm -hmm. if it, if this account was not in. Um, uh, you know the 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 spirit of the challenge. Like instead of uh, early on um, focusing on Hydra stats, I would have went. I would have went in faction war right away and getting those 20 speed mm -hmm. early on getting those uh resistance maybe accuracy very very early on it will jump start your progress in faction wars okay okay so yeah, because uh, there, there was a lot of point to grab to, from hydra right so yes exactly here. so i decided to like my progression in hydra was more important than faction war for the challenge uh, um Point, uh, like a uh, point of view but uh if you're if you're not in the challenge and you're just trying to progress your account then faction wars i think it's it's a huge um investment that you should should do uh, uh it should be your first investment in the area bonuses from live arena mm -hmm. Because it, it, it helps it, it helps so much in in your uh, progression so, okay, so, so yeah for now i'm struggling to get to gold uh, so farakin uh, just help you to uh, with this crazy speed uh, to go uh, get to the gold or you had to uh, do something no else? no um it was very early on when i first uh, unlock uh the the live arena that's where i used uh, farakin the mm -hmm. fat but of course when i got arbiter then arbiter was like I, I change up all my gear and most of the gear from Farakin the Fat went on Arbiter at first okay. and then I got some de uh, like better gear and stuff. So Farrakhan the Fat, I don't use him anymore. In, I only use him in a uh, clan boss now. Mm -hmm. So he, he's more like a defensive build, less, less quick. But right now, the, my strategy in gold live arena uh, since the rule change a bit like from silver and gold you you, you can now um, cannot choose the same champion and cannot so I always try to 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 have either arbiter or string or Armand in the fight if I get those three like let's say one of the most popular first pick is Armand's yeah. But in Live Arena, a lot of people pick um, Wukong, which I don't have. Yeah. So if they first pick Wukong, I then uh, I then take Arbiter and Armands from them. And most of the people didn't build uh, or string as well. So uh, they take those. Uh, so I, I take all um, like the the main speed champ is Arbiter and and um, and Armand. So if I manage to to first pick those two. Mm -hmm. And I'm 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 in pretty decent shape to to win. Even though I'm fighting accounts level 100 and they have uh, 15 million power, my account is only level 69. I have two million power, and I'm beating those accounts because um, I, I'm taking like key champions from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, like it's it, the, the key is mainly to be fast and uh, to have a high damage dealer. So we can confirm that uh, speed meta back to Life Arena, right? Oh yeah, uh, sp uh, Life Arena always been uh, speed meta, always. Mm -hmm. Like speed is uh, always been the most important stat in Life Arena. Yeah. So like go, looks like go all second your team uh, are over uh, three hundred uh, speeds, which is uh, plus yeah exactly plus uh, uh, aura, right? Uh, yeah so the those three let's say they pick arbiter first then i pick or string and armens and they ban arm armens so i i still have that speed champion yeah so that's that's why i build i could i could build uh arbiter at uh 350 speeds probably mm -hmm. but i i rather have those three champion um over 300 speed so whenever they they ban one and they take the uh, they take one of the three then i i al always have one option available mm -hmm. as a speed lead okay i see okay but to once again uh 
so we, c we can say that uh, faction wars is very uh, much dependent on the results that you are getting from life arena right so this is well it's not dependent it's just mm -hmm. will, it will help you progress faster yeah a lot faster because the, you're getting there a lot of stats that you will need to put a lot of gear to just get additional yeah. 18 to I mean, 20 speed 20 speed early on it's it's huge yeah it's very huge <laughs> but you won't you won't get 20 uh, like uh the full 20 speed early on because you will eat uh gold arena after uh, after three months it take it took me three months to hit gold but mm -hmm. like just the 12 speed yeah, the 12 60 speed. accuracy or um more like uh, i think 40 or 48, yeah, 48 accuracy mm -hmm. 48 resistant these are huge huge help to progress yeah totally agree totally agree okay so again uh, life arena and faction wars a big correlation yeah, yeah. And to think about this so build your fa uh, champ fast and <laughs> go to the arena yeah and like uh, a strategy in arena uh, you know everyone use like the obvious choices like uh Iketune or but you can always like pick uh some less known champ and gear them in your best gear and surprise people and win mm -hmm. win arena fights so I think live arena, it's a bit of like a mental game, you know, you try to yeah. surprise people with some surprise pick and then you can you can like uh, get some free wins just by uh, uh, not following the mass, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm still uh, new on live arena, so I'm experiment experimenting currently with two Armanzes because yeah I got two <laughs> <laughs> yeah you lucky you two Armands <laughs> yeah so I hope uh, in the future I will record something some interesting fights there because I have a lot of fun <laughs> yeah. generally uh, do, doing life you, arena with them <laughs> uh, I think it's it's you I mentioned you know the strategy I think you have the uh, one ascendant Armands and one not ascended right yeah. uh, so Currently they are both ascended, but uh, one is uh, on level 51 or something. Okay, but uh, let's say you bring them both at level uh, 60, mm -hmm. and you, you um, like uh, you 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 have two four star ascension, or did you do the the armands? Uh? Yeah, so one is with four star ascension, and second one is only with one. Okay, so what I would do personally is put my best gear on the first uh, on the one star ascension mm -hmm. and less uh, and put the uh, the four star ascend ascension um like uh maybe uh less fast uh with less accuracy mm -hmm. but still still the build and and trying like people to because they they probably will uh, mostly um uh, try to 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 ban your arbiter and take uh, and and go first but if they they ban your armaments then they they're gonna definitely ban the 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 one with the higher star you mm -hmm. know yeah so from uh, uh, what i noticed so they are banning arbiter so that's uh uh one thing second is this armaments with four stars which is fast uh, which one is uh, this one is faster in in my setup and sometimes they are banning uh, rattles Ah oh, yes, yes. Do you bring <laughs> always two damage dealer or or, or only one? Uh, I got only one damage dealer. So Ratalos is okay. my main damage. Dealer. Uh, that's why. That's mm -hmm. why. So the the way I I think about bringing one or two damage dealer, if mm -hmm. you if you have uh, Armands on your team, then you can you can only take one damage dealer. But let's see in live arena, uh, the 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 pick Armands first. Well, that's where I, I have to bring a second damage dealer because otherwise they just b uh, ban Rattalos and they they won uh, they, they win 100% um, of the time mm -hmm. because I don't I don't have damage to kill their their team and in in gold. So um, if you take a look at at my Scrank, that's my secondary um, damage dealer on the account for Live Arena, mm -hmm. which is he's built like quite fast and. Yeah. Uh, with like decent amount of damage and so so yeah when when they, they when they first pick um 
Armands and I cannot pick, I have to bring Skrank in. Okay, yeah, it's a damage dealer. So far I got one, so I'm building Susie uh, for that, but this will take a few more days. <laughs> uh, Suzerain Ketan? Or, yes. Uh, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's actually decent in Hydra. I, uh, I used it for, uh, for a long time, actually. Yep, great. <laughs> Okay. So uh, yeah, going back uh, to faction war, I think that we're we're going uh, away from the the main yeah, but uh, it's topic. Like the, 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 the stats that we are getting in the great hall bonuses is very important. So yeah, I think yeah. we covered that. So we're not back to this topic anymore. <laughs> so yeah. let's back to the faction wars. Um, so yeah, um, uh, strategy for faction war. So a lot of the faction, uh, because I completed, uh, I already completed uh, three, uh, no, six different faction in uh, mm -hmm. a bit more than three months, which, which is quite impressive. I think I, I, I never thought I would be able to do that. So let's check. So you got high, uh, high elves. Uh, yeah, banner lord. So let's go one by one if we can, right? So just yeah, yeah. a few words about this one. So high elves probably arbiter, right? Yeah, it's very easy. I have arbiter. I have uh, um, what's it called? Uh, the the max uh, HP champ. So maybe um, let's do this little bit uh, royal guard. So I have arbiter uh, and royal guard. Let's do that way. Okay, so yeah, now exactly. I Filtering all your charms from high elves. Okay, so Arbiter, yeah. yeah. Royal Guard. And uh, Royal Guard do the damage. This one is a long run, but it's 100% auto and 100% efficient. So I'm farming always stage 21 on this faction. It's just a 12 minute fight. It's a long oh, fight because okay. my my uh, Royal Guard is uh, only f f level 50. Mm -hmm. And um, so the way I, I did the three star, because, you know, uh, like getting one star and three star, it's a two different thing. Uh, yeah, the way I went for this one, it was building my uh, I, I got lucky and I won the champion training to get the Arbiter Ascension. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Five star. And uh, that allows me to build a, a, a good resistant uh, build, you know, mm -hmm. so uh right now he, she's in my fastest banner but if i switch with a resistant banner then um she's gonna resist uh all the provokes and uh, all the freeze on the boss fight so she can always revive all the team and it keeps her healthy yeah but like let's say let's say i didn't pull the 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 five star uh blessing yeah. So I don't have the seventy-five uh, increase resistant. Then I can I, I could have got this the the seventy-five resistant in the great uh, great all faction, you know. So mm -hmm. that's this one I got lucky, but it could have been like um, uh, how to say that? Like it could have been result with uh, just investing in in the great all instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so what you're saying, so your um, mm, reviver should have a lot of resistance to just uh, exactly stay alive and uh, not, do not be CC'd, right? Like any yeah. stuns, yeah. provokes, and any debuffs. Uh, yeah. he, she needs to be, or he or she or whatever, uh, need to be fast and resist. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't build my Arbiter in regen gear because she, she has my, uh, one of my best gear in the account. She's very tanky, she's very fast. But um, for other faction, uh, if we talk about, let's say, Undead Hordes, uh, which I, I didn't... Um, I didn't complete it yet. Um, so the plan here, I, I have a, a clear plan in mind. I have all the champs I need to, to finish the faction. I just need to work on them. Yeah. So I will six star uh, Gorgorab, you know, the and this yeah. this guy, uh, he's already in a decent gear, but um, he, he has decent resistance. He just need a bit more stats to stay alive and maybe uh, change a few pieces from because I think he has a flat stat gloves or um, like some pretty, no, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, maybe um, but just completing the set is more, more sometimes more important, right? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the main stats, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, yeah, I have Usk, which is a great damage dealer. 
and the uh, Vogut, which uh, uh, may bring some extra like uh, tankiness and uh, some uh, serv servability. So, um, so the problem I, I got in Undead Ward is I don't have enough damage. You know, there's a wave with uh, with like um, five healers, three cleansers, and it, you need like uh, some 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 pretty good damage. To, uh, to complete this um, mm -hmm. th that stage, so I think for that faction, I'm I, I, I'm going to invest in Atoll, Atoll, uh, the Dark Atoll, mm -hmm. because she has a uh, A1, mm -hmm. yeah, A1 decreased defense, and um, she has some decreased speed as well for the boss fight, um, and uh, so I'm going to bring her to level sixty. And Gorgorab to level 60, and the rest uh, I'm gonna keep Vogat level 50, and probably uh, the rare level 50 as well. Okay, so we can summarize this approach like uh, build tanky team uh, uh, mostly, right? Yeah, and well, if you're facing the waves that you cannot uh, pass because the, they are healing a lot then build a damage dealer, but damage dealer usually needs to be 6 star because on 5 yeah, star yeah, the yeah. they are not working. Uh, safe. Yeah, they don't bring enough damage. Yeah. Because, um, so let's say Usk, Usk I, I build him for Hydra, but if I didn't I didn't build Usk, I think the team, the main team with Gorgorab, Dark Atoll and Vogut would have, uh, and two other chickens would have do, uh, would have, uh, uh, be enough to to complete the entire faction in mm -hmm. my personal opinion because like um it's the same with the arbiter like if you keep your your arbiter or your gorgorab lt through the old fight then it's a long it's a long fight that's yeah. for sure but yeah but it's uh, global it's, right so uh you yeah only it's 100 percent efficient two six stars right even this one is not uh really this one this one uh yeah. like i'd I used it for the um, the missions, you know, uh, when I had to ascend uh, okay. a force guy, mm -hmm. and she was my only option, and uh, she I, I never used her anywhere. Yeah. Like she just have some leftover gear. She's always like half build, and she just brings some more servability and she doesn't bring much honestly yeah. she... so i also managed to complete uh, high elf uh, faction creeps uh, fully so i got uh, the also two six star champions so this is arbiter and i got scaramis and scaramis yeah, with yeah, his yeah. provokes his great yeah, for he's, this he, job. yeah he's great for controlling the wave like yeah. you, you you're probably gonna farm um uh, much faster the, the faction than me <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just you know auto and doing something else. <laughs> uh, uh, funny, funny enough, I pulled a six star ascension for Apot Apothecary, so I might, oh. I might, okay, I might work on him, mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, but, but it's not my priority. So, so some kind of let's what we can take from this. Uh, um, so you don't have to build. Uh, full team of six stars right to, to yeah complete. exactly yeah you mm -hmm. you need to save because uh, otherwise it's gonna take you uh like a year and a half to build um like uh it i think it's 13 different factions mm -hmm. like a full team of of level 60 it, 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 it takes like uh way too much time so you need to focus on key parts on each faction Mm -hmm. Like uh, a reviver um, yeah. uh, with IHP, I resistance, and uh, um, so like a way to regen to to, to stay alive. Mm -hmm. uh, Arbiter does that naturally with with her A3 when she's below fifty percent. She just keeps her healthy. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, same for Gorgorab. Gorgorab does um, some healing, but you need to revive to do the healing. So it's that's why I put him in a regen set so he can self self heal. And you need one uh, one or two maybe uh, decent um, uh, damage dealer. So yeah. let's say um, uh, I think in Ogren Ogren tribe, mm -hmm. uh, this is a great uh, faction. Um, uh, I can show you. I I. Um, I finished the. Uh, I fully started all the faction with just Ugo and Scrank. The rest was food champion. Yeah. 
Okay. Because uh, all the old team were, uh, was dying. So during the fight, Ugo, Ugo, same same as uh, Arbiter. My uh, my Ugo's build is is quite strong. I have five star blessing. But these these could uh, uh, could be um, could what be done with uh, with some. Uh, Hello. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He's, he's built for my uh, for my Hydra. Like mm -hmm. he, this one because I want to push brutal Hydra. So that's my like brutal Hydra build. That's nice build. Really good. Yeah, it's, my Ugo is very strong. But when when I finished the faction, he was not that mm -hmm. strong. Mm -hmm. I think I didn't have the the five star blessing yet, and um, it it was mainly just Ugo um, keep uh, scrank scrank alive. And on the last wave, I want uh, uh, make sure um, to not use the eel and to scrank to die right before I'm ending. I am ending it, and uh, um, Ugo's passive uh, revive the old team and scrank finishing the fight. So mm -hmm. sometimes it takes one or two tries to 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 get the timing right, but uh, you can three star with only Ugo and scrank the yeah. old faction. Yeah. So instead of building a uh, five, uh, uh, like a team of five, I, ju I just with minimal resources, I I finish the faction, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, what's interesting on my account, I also pushed a little, uh, not maybe to top level because I'm lacking of damage dealer, but I've got uh, yeah. two copies of Hugo. <laughs> oh, lucky you. That's <laughs> oh, I would love a second Hugo, honestly, because I need him in my second uh, yeah. Hydra team. Exactly. So. Uh, Ugo, U Ugo, I think she's the like the best epic in the game. Most yeah. people um, uh, value, uh, you know, the dwarf guy. What's his name? Geomancer. Yeah, Geomancer as the best epic in the game. But in my personal opinion, like Ugo, she's um, she's just a beast. Yeah, I also have similar experience with uh, this jump. It's great. Yeah, and I got very lucky, like uh, uh, pulling our for uh, our. I actually pulled the four star blessing, and I bought the fi the fifth star when oh. I saw it in the shop. So and I sold I sold like some Crixia five or uh, five star blessing to to get the the resources. So five star blessing gives you an additional resistance and accuracy, which is huge. Yeah, which is huge for her build. And the, the you know I, I run her with a blood shield accessory, mm -hmm. so the eel the nine percent eel every turn, it's yeah. it's just crazy. So um, heal here and uh, yeah, this blessing which when the shield is removed, yeah. uh, she will heal. Great. The, the, I'm using yeah, yeah, similar yeah. combo. This, this is perfect uh, for. I'm using a similar thing on uh, Ancora, my Ancora. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, she's, she's, she, she does bring a shield. Yeah, she's bringing a lot of shields and she's, she's in rel Relentless, so yeah, she's doing a crazy job. Okay, so yeah, so you can uh, f uh, three star uh, faction crypt with two champs like good yeah, reviver exactly. and good DPS and bring in yeah. three food champions. The, maybe they are not so food. So let, let's maybe focus. On well, this the, this one honestly, like uh, the first the first wave is dying and he does nothing in the fight. Yeah, he, he's not well built. He's just. Uh, mm -hmm. He's, but he's if, if you don't have good to a reviver, so what you will suggest? I'm um, uh, mm -hmm. So um, I have a different strategy. Let's go in uh, barbarian, uh, barbarian tribe now. Barbarian, but we yeah. have armors here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's the one I want to talk about. If you don't have access to um, uh, to a reviver. Mm -hmm. Like some faction doesn't have a good reviver until you pull the leg legendary one. Mm -hmm. um, so that faction uh, actually, so you know, I have Farrakh in the fat, I have Armina, um, I do have the the, the rare. Uh, uh, yeah, with Teshada. Uh, yes, yeah, she, she actually revived, but uh, mm -hmm. I I didn't build her. Yeah. Um, I think she might she she might have some gear on, but. Mm, um, nope. I no, I, I actually didn't didn't use her, um, okay. Because uh, this one, like uh, pretty much everyone got Armands, or if you're if you just start, like it's gonna be a hard faction without Armands. But um, mm -hmm. the way uh, because I, I I finished this faction, and you could finish this faction with two champion Armands and Iketun. Okay. Like I I could have done without the Farrakhan the Fat, without the Armina. 
without any anything just bring three food champion mm -hmm. and those two champion but you have to have like specific uh specific uh, build like uh, this one i took the build away but when i i did three star mm -hmm. uh because right now i'm just running on auto and i don't care about like uh, people dying yeah but if you want to like everyone to survive then you just uh, for for the last boss the last stage like armands the, all the other stage armands fully control it and it's just uh you just take your time by killing with the, with some food champions you can take your time there's no rush mm -hmm. but for the boss the thing about the boss is um when you hit him uh he he has a chance to freeze you you know mm -hmm. so uh, um every time you do uh you do your a2 there's a chance your armor getting freeze and yeah. if he gets freeze then he won't be able to cycle back to to his a2 Again. uh to to fully control the turn meter of the boss so he will eventually get the turn but the reason i br i bring ikatoon in the fight is the speed lead yeah. Um, with the combination of uh, of her having enough accuracy and uh, uh, um, uh, you just need to land your your decrease speed mm -hmm. uh, in the first few turns, and if you do, and if you have a uh, fast enough Armands, even though Armands get freeze fr frozen, he's gonna cycle back to and he needs to be fully booked, obviously, but yeah. he's gonna. Uh, be quick enough like my armors is pretty fast okay he's, he's around 300 speed but i think you could do it with two 280 speed and um if you yeah if you land the decrease speed then he, he can just cycle back and the bus never takes a turn mm -hmm. that, that's but interesting you, strategy yeah but you need to keep the ads alive so armand in be uh, the each a2 he needs to a1 the ads because if he takes two freeze then then the, then the sackle will break and uh the bus will take a turn yeah. so you need to you need to not kill the the, the ads of the bus the side minions mm -hmm. for armands for uh, for uh, for him to uh to keep a a1 them but the good thing if if they both like get very low um, you can just um, uh, sheep one, and he's gonna he's gonna go back to fifty percent health. Oh yeah, yeah, that that's what I noticed. So uh, yeah, after the so, sheep, so, he's gone, so you can just uh, un he's gonna he's gonna heal, heal back to fifty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so so you can keep them alive like you, you could do just with those two champion with three food, and eventually. Uh, like if you if you don't get like three percent resisting uh, uh, resisted on the on on the wrong timing, then you can you you can finish this uh, entire faction with with uh, those two free champions. Yeah, that's crazy strategy. Yeah. So no revival. Which brings me to full control. <laughs> yeah, full control. So so it brings me to when when in other faction when you don't have like. Uh, uh the the good revivers or um you can always like go in a in a control strategy uh, you can bring some stun set and and running your luck or um so yeah, yeah there's yeah. there's because many like different you have strategies. uh bowyer right so this yeah. jump on a1 could uh attack all enemies so good candidate for stun set yeah, exactly, exactly. Because she could be mm -hmm. very good in stun set. Um, I, I mainly use her in um, in Centranos, though. though. <laughs> so sometimes I uh, trying to use uh, strategy. If one champion with stun set is not enough, so I'm bringing another one. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So two champs with stun set, so the probability is much higher to just stun mm -hmm. uh, the waves and just push through. Yeah. So I've got, uh, for example, similar situation in the night refs. Um, yeah, so you, you got uh, um, uh, miscreated monster, yeah. right? And uh, he stands. Yeah, he's a huge carry for. Yeah, for exactly. Fashion. I've got uh, two Sineshas, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So Sinesha uh, A1 is AOE attack. So I build yeah, two that's... to fifty or something like that, and I equip with stun set, and I'm just progressing there. Yeah, but, but uh, the yeah, tricky part is that I do not have enough damage, so mostly the supports. So, mm -hmm. 
Hell yeah, Seal. I got lucky to yeah. to to uh, pull the Teodar early yeah. on in the challenge, but I didn't build him until the challenge end. Yeah, and uh, as soon as, as the challenge ended, it was my first first sixty. You know. Mhm. Mm yeah, cool jump. Yeah. Well, it, I. I and that's another um, uh, faction which I had difficulty to, to finish. I was stuck at uh, the stage uh, 20. Mm -hmm. And then that was before I uh, I put the So the you completed speed. the night rest, right? Um, I, did, I did complete it uh, today. Oh, today. And, uh, okay. Yeah. And last last time I, I, I tried to complete it, uh, I couldn't because uh, my Theodor was not like fully geared and uh, I, I still had to work on his mastery and stuff. And then um, I didn't have the, the extra 18 speed in the in the uh, faction um, area, area. Bonus. mm -hmm. bonuses. Mm -hmm. But um, when I, uh, um, I started working on those area bonuses and yeah. Right now, like Theodore, uh, solo uh, uh, 21, very fast. Yeah, so now, now, now I'm presenting, right? So no arena, area selected and then switching to faction wars. So, right, suddenly yeah. this champ's getting a lot of uh, stats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like it got affinity bonuses here, maybe the 20 is not enough, but yeah, it's always something. It's a, I think. It's a huge difference, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, tw 20 speed is it's quite huge. Yeah. Uh, I'm not I'm not there yet, but uh, uh, to, uh, on the reset, I'm going to finish the 20 speed. Nice. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Uh, so, Night Traps. So, I think we discussed uh, High Elves. Oh, we, got, uh, we skipped Banner Lords. We'll back to Banner Lords. Barbarians we discussed. Night Traps. Yeah, I think uh, Theodore and Miscreated Monster, right? That, that's yeah, the solution it's here. Those two. But I I had to bring the, you know, the, I think it's Malkit. Malkit, the name of the Reviver, the yes. Epic Reviver. Reviver. So mm -hmm. I had to build him a uh, level 50 with some uh, like decent region gear. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I was bringing two food champion, uh, well, not food champion, but uh, like a champion that was uh, dying uh, very uh, on the Valk waves. This one, right? Yeah, exactly. So my renegade and um, uh, I, I use a doom priest um, mm -hmm. for the stage twenty one. The second wave, like uh, they both die very quickly uh, because I cannot control uh, Valks all the time. Yeah. Um, so I, I had to I had to to bring a Malk, Malkit uh, a, a bit tankier to for him to uh, to survive to the boss and then he revived uh, before ending the fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so each faction reviver is very important if you want to free star. If not, then yeah. go control. Okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. Can you um, try approach like full tanky team and try to win? Is there, yeah, is this yeah, that's a... another option. Mm -hmm. But that's where you, you that's where you have to invest in the, in the, the full team, you know. Yeah, full team and like what I'm trying to do in faction war is is to to bring uh, uh, a team to the stage 21 with the lowest investment possible, you know? Mm -hmm. To, to farm uh, just the, the, those uh, forge materials, right? Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, glyphs, yeah. those glyphs, uh, they're crazy. Yeah, glyphs are huge. Yeah. Uh, so we got plus five like this. Yeah. <laughs> Just well, if you want to see uh, something crazy, go on Armand's uh, chest. chest. Armand chest. Okay. Uh, Armand, not Rattablos. Oh, Armand. sorry. Not, not this superstar. <laughs> yeah. Okay, eight. Like, um, something yeah. like that, you know? <laughs> what? That's nice. No, this is like additional 50% of what originality uh, speed was, right? That's crazy. A lot of speed. Yeah, Mar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I think uh, let's let's now move to Bannerlords, right? Because uh, we skipped that. Oh, so yeah. let's yeah. Uh, say a few words about Banner. But I see what's going on here. We got Kisgard. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Two champs makes the dream work. Yeah. It's so big. So this one here. was a bit trickier. 
this one was a bit trickier to to actually uh, fully start because for a long time I I, I went uh, I did the stage 21 uh, pretty early, but mm -hmm. um, the the bus on this faction uh, has the two hats that it incredibly hard, so it's very hard to keep uh, like your five team uh, five man team alive. It's mm -hmm. very very hard. Like Giscard could could tank it, and Ratalos uh, could take tank it as well. But then I pulled the uh, um, I pulled the the um, uh, the epic uh, uh, stalk uh, knight uh, stalk stag stag knight stag knight okay mm -hmm. yeah stag knight. Um, I took some some uh, like most of my my champion uh, like I move gear around a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's normal. Um, <laughs> but this guy, this guy actually was there to um, decrease mainly attack. Uh, uh, decrease attack was good, but the decrease speed made the difference for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. the A one decrease speed because um, I uh, it allowed me to cycle through. Um, enough to kill the boss before his, uh, his uh, second ally attack. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lady Annabelle was very important as well because uh, on the team I had like very squishy champion. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the first the first uh, turn the, the first um, turn the the boss takes he does ally attack and uh, and one of his adds uh, it's incredibly hard. So every ally at every first turn I could I couldn't kill the boss before he took a turn. So I had to come up with a way to um, tank the first ally attack. But I don't tank it. I just put um, revive on that on my. Uh, um, on my uh, on the the guy that the, that was dying every time mm -hmm. i think it was the she the, the lady with the with the speed aura so yeah i put the revive on that on her transfer and she mm -hmm. yeah exactly and she she was tanking the first ally attack for me and then i uh, i was killing the heads before they, they they take a turn and then the boss revived the heads, and uh, I had enough time to uh, to kill him with the the Ratalos like uh, extra stack, and mm -hmm. like you have to time the increase attack with the decrease defense with the the five stack on the on his A2 to like um, do a lot of damage. But uh, with nice, like it took me a couple of tries, uh, yeah, probably sure. like uh, 10, 10 or fifteen tries. To, to do the fifty the, the the three star, but you can eventually like play with it and and do it. Mm -hmm. But like same same as this one, I only have two level sixty. Yeah, and okay. the rest uh, like uh, Chancellor stars. is mm -hmm. two five stars. Yeah, the, because I, I needed uh, those two to to actually be tanky enough uh, to take the first uh, uh, ally attack. Mm -hmm. But the Chancellor Yasmina, um, she was. Only level 40, and she was she was very squishy, so um, she was dying and uh, every time. So yeah. instead of investing in her, I just come up with a strategy of just reviving her with the with Annabelle um, skill. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. And uh, also, uh, what I've noticed just looking on your charm, so perception. Perception. Yeah, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Of course. Perception. You got, oh, uh, yeah, region that, that that's worth to farm in the uh, yeah. dragon. Some random uh, lifesteal, right? But I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. It, it um, perception is uh, is is the yeah. most important set uh, yeah, early, early on. Clan boss, right? This is clan boss. Uh, the immortal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Immortal is quite good as well, and relentless. Um, I yeah. do uh, like Clements. my rel take uh, take a look at the the pieces. Like it's very important to to um, to go for the the wins in tournament because mm -hmm. relentless gear is actually early on. It's quite a huge huge difference because yeah. you can you can get uh, pieces like this one or that one. Whoa. That's my yeah. best. That's my. I think it's my best piece in my entire account. Because um, it's like all the right stats in the right sets, uh, except accuracy, maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, accuracy. It's but like you could use it on a different champion that mm -hmm. use accuracy and. Exactly. Uh, so yeah. But this this looks amazing. Relentless. Yeah, it's an amazing piece. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. like um yeah it's very important to to actually invest like sometime uh in, like in the arena tournament i i just won the last tag team arena tournament mm -hmm. um i did got uh six uh six piece of gear six star all legendary um this time around uh i i got unlucky and all the pieces were were crap so i sold them all but um, if you win enough of tournament, then uh, some some god tier pieces will come around, and like uh, it's gonna be huge. Like yeah. I, I think I have uh, three or four champ. Like uh, my Elva is in Relentless, my Ratalos is re is in Relentless, my Or String she's very fast and she's in re uh, Relentless because my Relentless gear is actually like god tier. She it's a pretty pretty strong gear. Like take a look at the chest. <laughs> Yeah, just piece on that. You need to be that. active, right? Yeah, free star. Yeah, uh, free free roll. It's, on the speed. Yeah, it's like you, you, I probably won uh, like over uh, twenty or twenty, maybe thirty tournaments. So like mm -hmm. I I saw uh, I saw a lot of like six star pieces in relentless. Like sometimes, like most of the time, I sell them. But you get lucky, and then you get some some crazy good. Um, pieces so, from yeah. from the tournament. Mm -hmm. So Relentless also helps in uh, the faction wars, right? Uh, generally yep. everywhere because the champion power is growing significantly because of the repetition extra of turn. his turn, extra turn, yep. right? Uh, Actually, so, um, so so for the Bannerlord, um, I think the reason I did the three star was because of the Relentless, because mm -hmm. I need to proc the Ratalos uh, Relentless for him to kill uh, kill the boss uh, fast fast enough for uh, for him not taking the uh, his third turn yeah exactly because of his crazy passive right he, uh, yeah fifth skill so it tacks, will... stack stack more and then um, mm -hmm. um so yeah a relentless so, uh, is another big piece even mm -hmm. you need to be active in the game to just win some uh, mm -hmm. tournaments think about this plan this accordingly then you, you will do uh, progress in faction wars probably looks like yeah. this is all connected this is, so there is no exactly. specific uh, like uh, strategy faction wars only besides one that i know about switching well, it's uh, it, it's shields, it all synergized right? together you know uh yeah. Uh, yeah the shield set it's it's uh, it's great to mention early on the shield set is amazing to progress you know the five six stages on each faction you get the you can get them uh, fully star with just having one sh uh, a strong shield set um exactly. on, on each faction and it, but this those, is all only those on stars the beginning, are right uh, so so yeah. like like first month depends how, how active you are but uh, this will help a lot to have uh, such a shield set with uh, three or four stars so easy to mm -hmm. swap uh, yeah but chance. even early on like getting uh four four star pieces in uh in um perception it's quite it's quite nice yeah. like if you go in, in, in my um uh perception bank okay mm -hmm. like go in all my my items uh you'll see some some pretty decent four star gear there and i keep i keep them um if you go in on equipped and uh, uh like mm -hmm. there's a quite some some decent pieces there i sell mo most of four stars <laughs> That's, but uh like yeah. these the like some of the, those pieces uh like was was helping yeah, at the, me at the beginning that they are a lot. quite okay but like, uh, for the uh lo lower parts of gauntlets chestplate and boots so yeah this level so where we are now so sh sh six star should be like like must right because yeah the, but like this, this this pieces was on my um uh Farrakhan the fat in my clan bus for a long time yeah 12 st like, i used i used that pieces for for a long time mm -hmm. at the beginning it's cool very good um so yeah our, the, like the early stages uh are very important to to uh to uh, to boost start it, like it, it it just a uh, snowball you know when it rolls in the snow it just get bigger and bigger and bigger mm -hmm. um i feel that's the 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 way you have to see the faction wars like you have to focus very early on and it just gets better and better and better and the, like other faction help you progress in other faction because you pull gear and you pull exactly um, some extra mm -hmm. stats so it's all related you know mm -hmm. 
similar strategy like uh, what I applied and probably Corret also, as I remember. So the start with uh, Atel and Deacon, right, at the beginning too. Yes, this, yes. This. I, I'm actually a big fan of that strategy. Yeah. Um, I didn't thought about that and it was a huge like early game strategy. Um, if, if we do a, ch a challenge next year, uh, <laughs> I'm definitely going to use that uh, strategy. It was yeah. very, very smart strategy actually. Yeah, that, that, that was a inter very interesting one. So yeah, so Atoll writes Sacred Order, what do we have? And Deacon, right? So both three yeah. times, right? Uh, Deacon is uh -huh. crazy good. Uh, yeah, and then that's what all you need. So easily you can six starring those two, buying them masteries. So in first two weeks, yeah, you got a lot of. So. Mm -hmm. I remember I was uh, forging a lot of uh, five star uh, speed boots at the, at the beginning where guys were yeah. just, what what's going on I already had like four uh, pieces uh, like that <laughs> so which is it, which is crazy good on the first exactly. few like two weeks exactly it's so good yeah and then the rest is so that's what you we are, what you are sure right so uh, because promo code started jump rest is depends mm -hmm. on your luck right so in my case yeah, yeah, i yeah. uh, pulled mordecai which and he was third to the <laughs> team uh, for the <laughs> yeah. uh, sacred order <laughs> True. yeah i'm lacking a lot in sacred order it's one of my worst faction actually yeah I see here. <laughs> yeah, but um, Talia, I did yeah. invest a bit in Talia. I got her in level fifty, and like in, in a decent gear. I think she has mm -hmm. one of of a good gear. But okay. um, uh, I don't. I I think I'll have to to bring her to sixty to keep progressing because I'm stuck. You know, uh, check the missions. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the the check. second part of the mission. Yeah, I don't have a lot of good champions. Nah, I don't have much. I don't have sister. much. Mm -hmm. So as we discussed, so have... right? Uh, so reviver, good DPS, uh, some yeah. of crawl control. So you can easily with two six stars. Uh, yeah, let's say I pulled a uh, God Seeker. Finish, right? Right? Let's say I pulled a God, God Seeker and Eerie or or the other void. Um, for that uh, does uh, reviving then i bring mm -hmm. both the reviver and talia to 60 and i'm finishing the old faction 100 yeah. percent mm -hmm. okay so i'm still waiting on, on so that. we are approaching slowly to one hour mark um oh yeah yeah so <laughs> let's do some i think of... i think we went we we talk about what we wanted to talk about yeah i think that we cover most of the things uh yeah, that we are applied to the, during the challenge. Uh, so my, my take, take over from that is just uh, I was not focusing so much on uh, uh, life arena. I could, if I could uh, spend a little bit more time on there, so probably will get a little bit more points. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's so because your uh, arena bonuses that's crazy, what you have here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. And like I said, like um, if I if I didn't uh, invest too, that much in Hydra, I like uh, probably my faction war would have been uh, like the speed, the resistance, and the accuracy would have all all have been level ten by now. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so would you like to say a few last words to our viewers? Yeah. Oh uh, well, thanks for listening. If you uh, really? if you get through that far, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you do the whole hour with us, thanks for for listening to us. And uh, um, yeah, if anybody has question, uh, just uh, hit me up on Discord. On the, the uh, my name is uh, GS Foot Fifty, and um, so yeah, I can answer all your questions if you have any questions. Yeah, great. Thank you very much, JS. Uh, so yeah, um, prob maybe we'll see we soon uh, on another uh, because that yeah, was very yeah. very good one. So I don't mind to have another uh, sync up with you. Maybe at some uh, time to discuss more uh, findings that we have. Sure, man. Yeah. If you want to have me on, uh, I'll gladly come back. Great, great. So thank you very much, and see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.